guys, it's Krugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I got Back to Newt for Galaxy S3. This is the version 6 and um, let's face it, all the Tetris ROMs which we have are really really huge and uh, have a lot of extra features and stuff like that if you want it on the KitKat releases. So this, uh, this is one ROM which is really basic, okay. Uh, Back to Nude is one of the ROM. Okay, this is actually ported from the Korean LTE model of the S3 and this is back ported to the 3D version. So yeah, Back to Nude, uh, uh, the forum says that the Nude actually, its symbol is, uh, simple, the symbol symbolizes LTE in Korea. So yeah, you can go onto the forum and read much about it. So let's get into the ROM now. This ROM is really basic. Okay, this is the one which use uh, a lot of ROMs use this as its base because it is ultra stable. It is like it is basically a stock ROM with um, uh, this thing with uh, KitKat release. So that is really cool. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you saw that was the um, lock screen, which I have the light effect enabled. You can enable the uh, water effect, which is the standard. Well. S3 effect. You do have Tetris Launcher which is basically the same thing. There's none of the bling which comes with all the other KitKat ROMs. So that is something which I really appreciate in this ROM. So, and this is this is like super stable. There are, there's none of the crap which is available with other ROMs. If you consider those crap, this might be a really good way to go for you guys if you want just the KitKat and the, want the stability of a stock ROM. So that is really cool. So you do have all, all of these. Okay, these are the apps with which it comes. Um, it does have Samsung uh, Samsung account stuff. Uh, if You can remove them with Titanium Backup or any other similar tool. So yeah, let's go to settings now. In the settings menu, you can see this is familiar uh, Note 3 style settings, I guess. You do have all of these um, tabs and stuff like that. All of these are basic s3 settings there is none extra there is no extra settings which are uh which feel forced the, none of these are forced into it there are no note 4 settings or s5 settings uh these all are available for our s3 from the get-go so you won't get a future rich rom but you are going to get a very very rock stable rom for this so if you are someone who uses your phone but you have already rooted and you don't want to go back to maybe stock 4.3 uh, you want 4.4 but those don't want any extra features uh, whatsoever then this might be a really good way to go so yeah all of these settings are available you do have easy mode in the lock screen settings you have swipe multiple widget on the lock screen you can select uh, you can these are the unlock effect you have ripple and light effect that is it there are no options extra you can have camera quick access by touching and tilting the phone tilting the phone it will uh, get you straight to uh, this thing uh, the camera so yeah you do have all of that options in the display option you have multi window notification panel settings wallpaper page buddy if you connect your headphones it will open up a page in your launcher uh, which corresponds to that particular option. So there are a lot of options and yeah, of course font size Which is one of my favorite options. Yeah, there are a lot of options and touch with okay I personally don't like touch with but there are a lot of people who like the features uh, uh, Given by touch with such as the accessibility options, which are really cool There are a lot of accessibility stuff Which is really good and the sound option you can create your own vibration You can uh, do a lot of stuff with that you can change all of these, use auto haptic for any kind of ringtone you have, uh, you do have S planner and stuff like that, so yeah, you do have a lot of, lot of those options. Vibration intensity is something which is controllable, which I am sorely lacking in my Z3 right now, so I would have liked this option. Uh, it's available in S3 by default, so that is really cool. You do have blocking mode, you can turn off notification for selected features, hands-free mode, Power saving, okay, this is not the latest uh, ultra power saving mode which is available in uh, S5, but uh, this is the standard S3 power saving mode, so that is really cool, you do have uh, that option. It does work out pretty much, but it doesn't uh, really have that effect of the ultra power saving mode which turns everything black and white. It does use an AMOLED screen, so use darker colors for better 
uh, battery life so yeah you do have accessory options accessibility stuff which is really cool you do have a lot of options answering and ending call by controls rather than just the on-screen controls you can have a lot of options here you can have magnification negative colors etc etc if you want something like that so yeah it does have that sound balance you can select this this is also something which i found very useful in using uh, headphones with well yeah everyone's hearing is different one ear will be more perceptive than the other so yeah uh, uh, it's not something to get into ROMs, so yeah, I'm not going to talk about too much. Dexterity, uh, press and hold delay, you can have it short, medium, long for everyone, you can use that. Accessibility settings are really cool in Samsung ROMs, and LG ROMs apparently, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Language and input, motion options, which are which were with S3 for like the from the get-go, I guess. Samsung started including this in the S3, so this was the first phone which had all of these, like uh, direct call, smart alert, uh, double tap to top all of these shake to update uh, turn over to mute and pause all of these are really really cool you do have all of these available right now also voice control you do have s voice which works pretty good um i'm not sure, I, I don't personally use it but someone who does use it it is a lifesaver it really works i do use google now on this so on my z3 and it does work out pretty good but s voice is a bit um, more personalizable so yeah you can use that one so in the other settings uh, in the about phone page <laughs> I forgot to go to an about phone you can see it is 4.4.4 which is the best feature of this ROM I guess it is this is the only feature of this ROM it is the only thing which is different from a stock ROM it is 4.4.4 it is KitKat so what does that mean it gives you all the options of a KitKat ROM on an S3 which doesn't have official KitKat and this does feel like an official KitKat release so that is really cool so yeah I would really like that yeah uh, the features of KitKat what is the best thing about KitKat well I will show you guys the best thing about KitKat the KitKat the best thing about KitKat is the RAM usage which is really cool for a touch with ROM if you clear the ROM it will only use about 500 that is unheard of for me with all these even with Samsung apps installed uh, this reading is just no, it's just phenomenal. I really don't have any options uh, other than to go with this if you really need the RAMs. So yeah, even in even in the ROMs which use uh, this as a base, the uh, extra features of Note and stuff like that really does crank up the RAM usage, and it is kind of uh, well, it kind of defeats the uh, defeats the reason for going with a KitKat ROM. So it's not really cool. So yeah, there is that. Uh, so what else do we have this is just a basic ROM I'm not going to talk anything more about that let me show you guys a boot animation which is pretty standard that was a shutdown animation which is pretty cool so that was the boot animation which is really well this is the newer boot animation of S I guess Note 4 or S5 I don't really remember but this is the newer boot animation that that is the only thing which I guess is from the newer versions of Samsung ROM so yeah that's pretty cool so yeah I guess that much is it nothing much to talk about this ROM this is a basic ROM and yeah you get a pretty good battery life with this ROM also because this is based on stock ROM and stock kernels and stock ROMs are more compatible with the hardware present in the in the phone than any other AOSP or anything else so that is a given you will get better battery life with this ROM than any other ROM on the um, uh, developers forum uh, rather than a stock ROM basically yeah it is pretty comparable to a stock ROM so that is really cool uh, so yeah I guess that much is it I'll show you guys the Antutu benchmark score and again this is not a performance based ROM and the performance is on the lower side yeah it is not very performing kind of a ROM. I only got about 23,700, close to 24,000 24, on this ROM, which isn't any in any way earth shattering or anything. No, it's it's medicore. Okay, it's not very good. But um, for a ROM which uh, is basically a stable stability based ROM, it is a stable ROM which you can use to. Um, to pretty much your daily driver this you can be used as a perfect daily driver if you really want to get things done if you want your phone for calls games and stuff like that so that is really cool I guess 
that is it about the ROM. Now again, this ROM is not for those performance enthusiasts who want uh, like 400 megabytes of ROM, uh, RAM in their device. No, this is for someone who wants a RAM, like 200 megs of RAM, free on their ROM for browsing, multitasking and stuff like that, and st but still wants the battery life and stability of a stock ROM. So that is really cool. Um, yeah, I guess that is it. And one more thing, uh, the camera app, well, while all the other TouchWiz-ish ROMs have the uh, Note 2 camera, this does not use the Note 2 camera, so no slow motion uh, available in this. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. So yeah, in any case, if you were uh, hoping for slow motion, it's not available in this ROM. Uh, you can just flash the Note, 4, Note 2 camera app and get the slow motion so that is available so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye